everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I hope you all had a great holiday. Unfortunately, I was sick during Christmas time, but I'm feeling much better now. But I have some really cute Valentine's crafts I want to share with you. This first one, I'm taking these three vases or these jars that I got from Dollar Tree. I already painted them from a previous DIY. So I'm taking this uh, pink color with the white uh, color paint and I'm mixing it together and I'm going to apply some stripes freehand. Um, I'd like it to be very casual. I don't want to put tape or anything like that. So I'm just going to apply a few stripes to each of the jars. So I thought the stripes were a little bit too dark so I do change it to a light pink color at the end. So I'm going to finish all three jars off camera. So now all the jars are finished and I'm going to take some of these pretty flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm showing you the color that I used for the the vases, I changed it because it was a little bit too bright. So this is very subtle and very pretty. So I'm taking these flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut a few out and place them inside the vase. I already had some uh, floral foam already placed inside and I'm gonna be using some of this pretty lace that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm also showing you these um, little pretty hearts that I got from Dollar Tree. I don't end up using them. I end up using the little tiny hearts. So now I'm taking this pretty lace that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to place it around each of the jars. So once I have the lace around all the jars, I'm going to place a tiny little bow using the same lace ribbon on all three jars in front and then place the little wood heart right in front. So I placed down one of the um, hearts from Dollar Tree and I realized I didn't like it afterwards so I switch it. So here I'm showing you where I switched the heart and I think it looks a lot better. I think they came out very pretty. So now we're going to move forward and start placing in the flowers. So I cut down two of the pink roses down to size and I'm placing it inside the floral foam inside the, the jar and then I'm going to place one of the one white rose in the back of it. So there's going to be three per jar. I really like the way this came out. It came out so elegant, so pretty, so subtle, and so French style kind of, I don't know, um, shabby chic. I don't know if you want to call it that, but um, French farmhouse look to it. So now I'm just finishing the third one and placing the same thing, two pink roses and one white rose in front. I love the way these came out. You guys gotta let me know in the comments below. Do you like how they came out? I think they're beautiful. These are so pretty. You can place them on a shelf, on your table, on your dining room table. They came out amazing. And here's the end results. Next DIY, I took this Dollar Tree, looks like a little shadow box, and I had to take it apart because it had a butterfly inside. I removed it. Now I'm just going to hot glue the bottom portion of it together, and I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree little baby breaths. Thank you. 
I will be pulling apart the little baby breaths and hot gluing it down inside. Just a few inside and then I'm going to place the remaining baby breath all inside loosely. This is a very quick and easy, pretty decor that comes out amazing. I also used my Cricut and came up with the word Love Blossoms, which I will be applying to the top portion of the shadow box. Now I finished hot gluing down a bunch of the little baby breaths. Now I'm just going to apply the remaining baby breaths loosely all over inside to make it look like it's flowing nicely. Now we're placing the top part of the shadow box back on top, close it in, and then applying the vinyl that I created on my Cricut. Now I'm placing down the vinyl word that says love and then I'll place down the word that says blossoms. This came out so pretty, especially for Valentine's. This came out so pretty. You can place it on your end table, your coffee table, on a shelf, and this is the end result. Moving on to the next DIY. I took this Hobby Lobby craft paper and this Dollar Tree frame. I'm going to take the back of the frame and trace it. Now that it's traced, I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. So I'm moving on to the next craft paper. I'm going to take this Dollar Tree heart and I'm going to use it and trace it out because I need an outline for the heart. Now that I have the heart cut out to size, I'm going to take the glue stick and glue it to the other craft paper. So I'm going to create a shadow box out of this Dollar Tree frame. I, I took this foam board and I cut four pieces two for the long edge of the frame and two for this smaller part of the frame, two inches high. So I'm placing down some glue around the edges of the glass to hold it in place. So I'm gonna be placing down the foam board with a little bit of hot glue and I'm leaving the little tabs on the frame because it reinforces the foam board. So I'm gonna apply the hot glue on all four sides of the frame and place down the foam boards on all four sides, reinforcing it with the hot glue on all the corners as well. The frame I'm using is a brown frame from Dollar Tree. That's the only frame I had left. I really wanted to use a white one, but all in all, it did turn out well anyways. So I'm placing some glue in the cracks of the corners just to make sure they're tightly secured together so this way when I apply the backing of the frame on it that it will be um, a good fit. Now I'm taking the craft paper that I cut out and I'm hot gluing it to the back of the frame. So now I'm just placing down the roses with some hot glue 
I didn't like the way it was looking, so I do change it. I wanted it to just have a few roses um, around the heart itself. So now I'm gonna be hot gluing the backing back onto the frame on the foam board. So I'm just placing some hot glue and then I'm gonna place it down. Now I'm just placing some glue on the outside as well, just to make sure there's no cracks or anything, making sure everything is tightly secured. And it came out really pretty. Now I wanted to add a bow, so I took the Dollar Tree ribbon um, and then I created a little bow and then I added a little key right underneath it and I think that topped it off very nicely. I think this little shadow box came out really beautiful. Gives you an idea what you can do with a Dollar Tree frame. And this is perfect for Valentine's. And this is the end results. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Until next time guys, I'll see you. Bye bye.